Hey everybody, how's it going? Everyone's all here. Welcome to Inspire Action Racing. Brand new, every single day that I've never done before. I'm filming in my bed, but that's totally not what the new thing is today. I just woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it right here. Have you ever, I wanna know, like, have you ever felt that little demon inside of you that just wants to post the most ridiculous, outrageous, maybe disgusting, inappropriate status updates ever? Well, I get that all the time, and I actually used to do it quite a bit before I started Inspiraction, and I was thinking to myself back then, and when I started, dude, what are you, what are you telling people about yourself, you know, you're posting this stuff on your Facebook, but I was realizing, like, maybe it's time to get back into that a little bit. I'm not talking about totally ridiculous, but any of my close friends can tell you that I'm a guy that's all about shock factor, so if I can take that joke to the next level just to make everybody go, ew, or oh my god, I'm gonna do it. And so I posted a status just for funsies, not for total shock factor. I wanted to like test the waters out for this video first. And basically, I asked a question. It's an important survey that's been going on for a very long time. My status update was actually inspired by my buddy Sam Gonzalez, my old roommate. And we had this discussion a long time ago that I thought was totally ridiculous. Like when I first found out about it, I had to investigate. So since then, I've been pulling all my friends. When you go to the bathroom, when you go to take a crap, do you sit and wipe or stand and wipe? Because Sam told me that he stand and wipes, and I was like, are you serious? You have to stand and wipe? Like, why? I can see pluses and minuses for each of these things, but I'm thinking more like, it's time to pull the world. Okay, well, the point is, I want to do my survey on Facebook. Do you stand and wipe or sit and wipe? And then I added it on there. Do you wad your toilet paper or do you fold it up? You know, I just want to know. This this debate's been raging for a long time and need to settle. I was completely surprised about how many ladies responded before all the gentlemen. So, if you're tagging this video, it's because you responded to the status update. And I just felt like sharing with you some of my greatest poop stories. So that's where I leave you. If you'd like, you can join me over at everyonezalos.com slash poop. And I will tell you my favorite poop story of all time because... Anybody that knows me knows that I'm the guy that's going to take it to the next level, like that joke, and poop is typically where it goes. <laughs> so this is a part of me that you've never seen before. <sighs> what a better place to tell a poop story than the toilet. So I had a really hard time figuring out which poop story I wanted to tell, so I'm going to start with the really small one and then work my way into the really big one. Really small one was like when I was in second grade, and I went over to this kid Tyler's house, who's a few grades older than I am. I was to I think play video games or something like that. But so I got to Tyler's house. I had to poop. I wasn't ready to go poop, so I like kind of like squeezed it and like held it in as long as possible. Well, this like little turd nugget like came out. I couldn't stop it, and it rolled down my leg, out my pants, onto the ground. I'm sitting there in Tyler's room, and I'm like, oh shit, you know. I don't even know if I knew that word back then, but whatever. So, like, I didn't know what to do. So, I took it, and I kicked it under his bed. And then I left. You know, like, that was pretty embarrassing. So, I have no idea, like, if he ever found it. I'm sure he did find it, but, like... I don't know. It was a pretty glorious moment for me, I think, in second grade. So, the second poop story is, like, totally epic. Used to be in Boy Scouts. Long time ago. I'm an Eagle Scout. But I think probably back sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, maybe something like that. I was camping with all Boy Scouts in Colorado National Monument. This place in Colorado with like huge steep cliff drop offs, amazing red rocks, and just great stuff. And self, Max Wagner, and I believe my friend Maddie Coughlin, although I think the third person was somebody else, decided hey, you know, it'd be funny to like throw beer bottles and lizards and all sorts of stuff off these 300 foot cliffs. Rocks especially. Well, so after we took the beer bottles and peed in them and threw them off the, off the cliff, thought that was pretty cool, you know. Boys, boys, right? Decided, like, wouldn't it be sweet if I could poop off the cliff? And so I did. So with the help of Max and, and Maddie, I think it was, they held my arms, you know, so I, like, Pushed myself off the edge a little bit just so I could get, you know, just enough to, to poop. And, um, I mean, you can kind of guess how it ends. Like, I did poop off a 300-foot cliff. 
and they pulled me up quick enough for me to kind of look down and watch it like hit the rocks and tumble a little bit and that was kind of exciting so those are two of my fantastic poop stories I can't believe I'm sharing this on the internet, but, you know, here I am. This is me taking transparency and authenticity to a whole new level. That's a wrap for Inspiraction. I'll see you on the other side. I promise you no more poop stories unless you ask for it. There's tons more. See ya.